I thought today I would just talk a little bit about um, something that came up yesterday actually with one of my adult students and she's not been able to do very much practice recently for one reason or another and she was talking about the the difficulty she had in actually getting herself to go to the piano when the piano was there. So the scenario is, you know, you don't have a piano Monday to Friday, but when you go back home, there's the piano. And how do you actually get yourself over the sense of feeling guilty? And I'm actually sitting down because she said, I know once I'm there, you know, it's, it's absolutely fine. I haven't got a problem in actually getting being at the piano is just getting to it that's the problem. And I, I kind of know exactly what she means. That sometimes it's the physical act of going to the piano and where do I start and what do I do to begin with that feels very overwhelming. And one thing I think that really helps all students is to, and it certainly helps me, this is what I've been doing really, I'm sharing my story really, is I've been starting with just some technique it's it's kind of a little routine i do it slightly differently each time but i will always start with just warming up on the piano i might just do a bit of rotation work for some reason my camera's pointing in the wrong direction i thought i got it all set up let's do it like that um oh i know why it's because it's coming through the so sorry about that i had it set up to come differently but um it might just be doing a little rotation <laughs> fingers active and me engaging in the sound or I might just do some some triad work you know I might just even go up and down and do something like depending on what key I'm going to be playing in if I've got that in my head um, or I might just do some just something very very simple that will help me get back to the piano and you know before I know it my music is out and I'm back into the nitty gritty and doing the practices again and that's exactly what I did with my adult yesterday is that we did a bit of warming up and then yes we just eased our way in so I think giving them a routine that they can just quickly do five minutes to do it doesn't have to be exact it doesn't have to be the same every time but just giving themselves permission to go and sit at the piano without necessarily practicing is a really good thing because the other thing you, they could do to find their way back in is just sit and play their favorite piece just sit and play something that they've been working on for quite some time you know she has got a, a list piece that she just loves and, and it, it's evocative and it just brings out um, a beautiful sense of calmness and poise. So to get self back into the piano, to get rid of that sense of <gasps> what do I do? You know, that would be my suggestion that you just give them a little way in that something they don't have to struggle with, something that they don't, that's not really going to cognitively overload them straight away, just a little technical thing or playing something that they really love and then before they know it, off they go with other stuff. Um, the other thing that, that I think it's good to encourage them, and actually one of my adult students I've just had has said this, um, when I asked him about this, he said, yes, it creates a sense of unease, doesn't it? When I haven't played, I know it's something I need to do. And he said, um, I think if people don't go to the piano, can't get there every day for some reason or another then when they do go they need to be kind to themselves and I thought that's so true we do need to be kind to ourselves at the piano we do tend to give ourselves a hard time sometimes I should be able to do this um, and also don't ask too much of yourself don't ask your plane to be exactly where it was when you left it last time if it's a whole week that's gone by because we do know that repetition is really really important so there we go thank you to everybody for watching i can see i've got sharon hello sharon and kath is there hello kath hope you're all well and um anastasia as well so thank you so much for joining me on this tuesday teaching tip a little teaching tip for your adults and maybe for your teenagers and maybe for yourself as well that um find a nice easy way in to get back to the piano all right have fun bye for now <laughs>